Hello, I'm Dr. Laura Schwalick, and a lot of people ask me, what's the difference between enzymes and probiotics? So a lot of times people have digestive issues, bloating, diarrhea, gas, and I ask them if they're taking enzymes, and they say, yeah, I'm taking, I eat yogurt, and I uh, take acidophilus. Well, that's probiotics. I'm talking about enzymes, so let's just talk about the difference between the two here. Okay, the confusion is that both enzymes and probiotics are small. You can take them as a supplement. They are used in your gut, your digestive tract, to help you to digest food, to break food down into smaller particles. And bad things can happen if your body if you don't have them. Okay, so enzymes, what are they? Enzymes are molecules. They're a group of atoms bonded together, and they kind of look like this under a microscope. Bacteria, though, they're actual living microorganisms that have cell walls, so they are much bigger than enzymes. Enzymes are made by your body. They're made also by plants and animals. They're made by the glands at the beginning of your digestive system, which I'll show you pictures in a moment. Probiotics are not made by your body. They actually are reproduced they reproduce themselves, replication, in your digestive system. And that might sound kind of gross, like, ooh, there's something living in my gut. Well, the truth is, is that it's a very symbiotic relationship. That means that we help each other out. And this is kind of how. So your enzymes are produced in your mouth, in your stomach, and in the pancreas inside your body, just below the stomach. And now the, the, pro, the probiotics, they reproduce in the small intestine and the large intestine, but mostly in the large intestine. Okay, so enzymes break down food into smaller pieces. It's kind of like they get the food ready for the probiotics to eat. The, the probiotics actually produce their own enzymes. They break down the food that the, the, your body's enzymes have broken down, they break it down even further into teeny, tiny, even smaller pieces. It's kind of like you have little Pac-Man inside your intestines, and those little Pac-Man, if we looked under a microscope, produce even smaller little kinds of food particles, molecules, so that your body can absorb them, utilize them to the best and fullest uh, that your body can absolutely use. Now, these probiotics also produce mucus and things to protect the inside of your digestive system as well. So they're really, really beneficial for you. Enzymes, the most common kind of enzyme is a protease. They break down proteins. Lipase breaks down fats. So we like that, we like our fat to be broken down. Amylase breaks down sugar, starch. Gelatinase breaks down collagen. There's also something called lactase, for those of you that are lactose intolerant, sucrase to help break down sugar, cellulase to break down cellulose. The most common kind of probiotics are lactobacillus, which is commonly what you find in yogurt, and also the bifidobacterium. Ooh, and there's, there's several different kinds of lactobacillus and several different kinds of bifidobacterium. All of these kinds of probiotics help to break down all different kinds of food not just specific like the enzymes are. Now here's the thing, enzymes are not usually affected by taking antibiotics. However, the antibiotics can kill the bacteria that's in your natural, uh, natural digestive system. So if you have to take an antibiotic, make sure that you replenish your system with the lactobacillus and the bifidobacterium and the other kinds of probiotics in back into your system because antibiotics can kill them off and remember that you need these things in your system caution you should not be taking large quantities of enzymes long term do not take large quantities of enzymes long term because it might affect your body's ability to make them your body makes them remember so don't take them long term maybe short term if you're having to get over some kind of an infection or surgery or something like that or injury okay but don't take them in large quantities long term now probiotics can be taken long term just don't take large quantities of them if you take large quantities of probiotics, what happens is you get an overgrowth 
of the probiotics in your small intestine. Remember, it's supposed to mostly be in your large intestine. So if there's too much in your small intestine, it's painful and it's very difficult to, rec to correct. And it's actually called SIBO, small intestine bacterial overgrowth. So don't take too much. Just kind of eat regular foods. Okay, so where do we get them from? Enzymes we get from vegetables and fruits and the ones that actually believe it or not help to break down proteins are pineapple and papaya But I don't recommend that you eat the seeds of the papaya. Just eat this yummy fleshy part here Okay, now where do you find probiotics you find probiotics and yogurt and sauerkraut kimchi and my stepdaughter would be so happy to know that You can also find probiotics and pickles pickles are yummy Okay, so now you know the difference between enzymes and probiotics. I hope this helps. Please stay tuned to our blog at bloodsugarideas.com. And if you have any questions, just send me an email at support at bloodsugarideas.com. Once again, that's support at bloodsugarideas.com. Thank you.